Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. We are resuming our read on first, uh, Second Samuel. We are now in the book of Second Samuel, which we started on yesterday. Second Samuel, the first chapter, uh, resuming our read on verses 11. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads... Then David took hold on his clothes and rent them, and likewise all the men that were with him. And they mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and for Jonathan his son, and for the people of the Lord and for the house of Israel, because they were fallen by the sword. And David said unto the young man that told him, Whence art thou? And he answered, I am the son of a stranger and a Melechite. And David said unto him, How wast thou not afraid to stretch forth thine hand to destroy the Lord's anointed? And David called one of the young men and said, Go near and fall upon him. And he smote him that he died. And David said unto him, Thy blood be upon thy head, for thy mouth hath testified against thee, saying, I have slain the Lord's anointed. And David lamented with this lament over Saul and over Jonathan, his son. Also, he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bow. Behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. The beauty of Israel is slain upon thy high places. How art the mighty fallen? Tell it not in Gath, publish it not in the streets of Ascalon. Least the daughters of the Philistines rejoice, least the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Ye mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew, neither let there be rain upon you, nor fields of offerings, for there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away, the shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. From the blood of the slain, from the fat of the mighty, the bow of Jonathan turned not back, and the sword of Saul returned not empty. Saul and Jonathan were lovely and pleasant in their lives, and in their death they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. <clears throat> you daughters of Israel, weep over Saul who clothed you in scarlet with other delights, who put on ornaments of gold upon you. How art the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle? Oh, Jonathan, thou wast slain in thy high places. I'm distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful. Passing the love of woman, how art the mighty fallen, and the weapons of war per, 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 perished? <laughs> Chapter 2. And it came to pass after this, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up into any of the cities of Judah? And the Lord said unto him, Go up. And David said, Whither shall I go up? And he said, Unto Hebron. So David went up. Thither and his two wives, also Ahinoam, the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, Nabal's wife, the Carmelite. And, this, and his men that were with him did David bring up, every man with his household, and they dwelt in the cities of Hebron. And the men of Judah came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. And they told David... <coughs> And they told David, saying, that the men of Jebesh Gilead were they that buried Saul. And David sent messengers unto the men of Jebesh Gilead, and said unto them, Blessed be ye of the Lord, that ye have showed this kindness unto your Lord, even unto Saul, and have buried him. And now the Lord showed kindness and truth unto you. And I also will requite you this kindness, because ye have done this thing. Therefore now let your hands be strengthened, and be valiant, for your master Saul is dead, and also the house of Judah have anointed me king over them. But, 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 Abner, the son of Ner, captain of Saul's host, took Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and brought him over to Mahanaim, and made him king over Gilead, and over the Asherites, and over Jezerites, and over Ephraim, and over Benjamin, and all, and over all of Israel. So Ishbosheth, Saul's son, was forty years old when he began to reign over Israel, 
and reigned for two years. But the house of Judah followed David. And the time that David was king in Hebron was over the in Hebron over the house of Judah was seven years and six months. And Abner the son of Ner, and the servants of Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, went out from Mahanaim to to Gibeon. And Joab the son of Zeruiah. And the servants of David went out and met together by the pool of Gibeon. And they sat down, the one on the one side of the pool and the one on the other side of the pool. And Abner said unto Joab, Let the young men now arise and play before us. And Joab said, Let them arise. Then there arose and went over by number twelve of Benjamin, which pertained to Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and twelve of the servants of David. And they caught every one his fellow by the head and thrust his sword in his fellow's side. So they fell down together. Wherefore the place was called Helkathazerim, which is in Gibeon. And there was a very sore battle that day, and Abner was beaten in the men of Israel before the servants of David. And they were three sons of Zeruiah, there, Joab, and Abiashai, and Ashael. And Ashael was as light of foot as a wild roe. And Ashael pursued after Abner. And in going, he turned not to the right hand nor to the left from following Abner. And then Abner looked behind him and he said, Art thou Ashael? And he answered, I am. And Abner said to him, Well, turn thee aside to thy right hand or to thy left and lay thee hold on one of the young men and take thee his armor. But Ashahel would not turn aside from following of Abner, following of him. And Abner said again to Ashahel, Turn thee aside from following me. Wherefore should I smite thee to the ground? How then should I hold up my face to Joab thy brother? Howbeit he refused to turn aside. Wherefore Abner, with the hinder end of the spear, smote him under the fifth rib, that the spear came out behind him. behind him and he fell down there and died in the same place and it came to pass that as many as came to the place where Ashabel fell down and died stood still Lord have mercy may the Lord add a blessing to you the hearer and me the reader of this precious and sacred word of God we will resume our read there on 2nd Samuel the 2nd chapter verses 24 Again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation and support to the Smurf Club to paypal.me forward slash Kamala Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are the fastest growing ministry on the internet. I know that would be Smurf, seven minute read family, seven minute read follow, just seven minute read faithful folk. We broadcast across 22 social media sites. We broadcast Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time. Um, and seven, at 7 p.m., Monday through Friday. Know that Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Know that Mama Pam loves you, and there's absolutely, positively nothing you can do about it. Why don't you go out there and be kind to somebody? Remember, we live in faith and not fear. Until the next podcast, I love you. God bless. <laughs>